let us see the question the question says find the acceleration of the two blocks as shown in the figure right uh, and it is given that it is 3 kg block and 2 kg block block is put over it and 5 newton force is applied on the 2 kg block and 3 kg uh, and 10 newton force is applied on the 3 kg block and the coefficient of friction between these two surfaces between the 3 kg block and the ground is 0.1 and the coefficient of friction between the 2 kg block and the 3 kg block is 0.2 right although this might be seeming a little easy uh, you might be thinking that you know we will directly draw the free body diagram of the 2 kg block and uh, make the force of friction maximum and calculate the value this might be easy right but no over here the problem is or we can say that the concept is we do not know whether there is any slipping occurring between these two blocks or not between the 2 kg block let us suppose this is the block a and this is the block b so is there any kind of slipping between a and b or not we do not know this right so how will we solve this because this is an issue obviously there will be slipping between the ground and the block b right so let us uh, to solve this you know to solve this kind of question let us assume no slipping takes place between a and b no slipping between a and b right so let us assume this so what will happen friction that will be acting between a and b will now be f it will not be the maximum value right and both of these two blocks will have the same acceleration because since there is no slipping they will be moving together right so let us first of all draw the fbd of a block this is the 2 kg block block a 5 newton force is being applied on this and uh, 2g this is the weight which is acting downwards normal reaction n1 and friction f in the backward direction obviously right so we can write the equation as n1 would be equal to 2g because no vertical motion is there so this will be my first equation and 5 minus f would be equal to 2 into a because this is the acceleration of the block right so these two equations we can make now let us draw the fbd of b block this is the 3 kg right 10 newton will be acting in this direction 3g will be acting downwards force of friction will be acting in the backward direction which will be equal to 0.1 into n2 right n1 n2 is upwards normal reaction because of the ground and n1 downwards which is the normal reaction due to the 2 kg block and some friction will be acting in the forward direction right friction to the 2 kg block so if we draw the equation over here we will get that n2 would be equal to n1 plus 3g and from the first equation we know that n1 is equal to 2g so we can say that n2 will be equal to 5g this is let us suppose my third equation and for the horizontal motion f plus 10 minus 0.1 into n2 should be equal to 5 into a this is my fourth equation and from the third equation I can use the value of n2 so uh, rather than making this fourth equation let us make this value f plus 10 minus 0.5g would be equal to 5a let us make this as for the fourth equation now if we see from the fourth and the second equation we have two equations and we have two unknown which is a and f right now let us calculate from this thing from these two equations let us calculate the value of f so for calculating f what we have to do is we have to multiply this equation by 5 by 2 right and this by 1 and subtract these two equations right so what we will get is 25 by 2 minus 5 f by 2 minus of this equation which is f plus 10 minus 0.5 into g or g can be taken as 10 this would be equal to 0 because this will be 5a and if we are multiplied 2a by 5 by 2 we will get 5a so these two will cancel out right 
So from this equation, what I will get? 25 by 2 minus 10 plus 5 would be equal to 7f by 2, right? So from this equation, we can get the value of f as this would be 15 by 7, right? So f comes out to be 15 by 7. Now, if I check the maximum, what can be the maximum value of f? f max. f max would be equal to what? mu2 into n1, right? So this would be equal to 0.2 into 2g, which will be equal to 20, which would be equal to what? 4. And 15 by 7 is coming out to be approximately 2 point, you know, 2.1 something. So that means f, which is coming out is less than f max. So that means this is correct. Our assumption that, you know, there was no slipping taking place. This assumption is correct because the friction that we have calculated while there was no slipping is coming out to be less than f max. So that means the friction still hasn't reached is its f max value. So that means friction hasn't yet reached its maximum value. That means the two blocks are moving together. Right now, so that means our assumption was correct that there was no slipping place, slipping taking place. Uh, you know, apart from this question, if we would have got that f would have been greater than f max, this would have implied that the slipping is taking place, right? The slipping is taking place, and in that problem, you would have again solved it, assuming f to be f max, and then calculated the separate values of acceleration for two kg block and three kg block. But in this case, there is occurring that you know uh, the both of them are having the same acceleration. Uh, let us calculate the value. If I calculate the value, uh, let us put this value, which is 15 by 7, in the second equation. So what will I get? So 5 minus 15 by 7 would be equal to 2a or this will give me acceleration will be equal to 10 by 7 meter per second square. So this will be the answer which is 10 by 7, right?